hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. All right, what's good, family? So we're gonna try something new. Shout out to the fam, Brandon Tillman. Now. Usually I play some highlights, but we're not going to do any highlights. So I'm just going to straight give you my opinion on a few people that I have saw. And I can't really do no highlights because I don't want to get copyrighted again. So, I'm hold on. It's kind of dark in here, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Eh, you ain't reach it. There we go. All right, had to turn the light on. All right, that's a little better. I ain't going to edit that out, whatever. So, right off the bat, let me, hold on, let me pull this up. So, Brandon, I looked at, you had a lot of people, fam. You had a lot of people. You had a lot of people. So, I looked up, because some of the people you mentioned, fam, I already seen. So, Mason Smith. If y'all have not seen or heard Mason Smith. Now, hold on, let me see if I can pull this up. Okay, I'm sure y'all looking at my little Twitter. I'm not popular. Anyway, okay, so Mason Smith, 6'6. Shout out to Scout D, by the way. 6'6. Because when I was seeing him play, before I saw the height, I was like, this dude looks tall. He reminds me of Calais Campbell. And that's exactly what this person, Scout D, said as well. 6'6", six, six, he's right here. And this is just one play. He punked that one. And he punked this one right here. And it's already a problem. Just that fast. But that's just one play. Now, I remember hearing him because I was watching the combine while I was working. And I remember kind of hearing the name and everything. But I just want y'all give y'all, this is how I'm going to do it, y'all. Just give him a quick thought. Uh, I like it. Um, first round, no. Y'all know what I want for the Ravens in the first round. Now, they say good fit for 49ers, Bills, and Ravens. I do that. See, that's a good fit for the Ravens. But with them tagging Matibuki, I'm interested to see what they are going to do. I'll get out of this. What they're going to do for the defensive tackle. Now... The next one is Kalen King. Now, Kalen King, he ran, I believe, a 4-6, something like that. Now, that's slow for a cornerback. But that made me think sometimes, and they said it in the commentary to it at the combine, I believe, yesterday. Sometimes a person 40 don't really make them. Obviously, we know that. But I believe he's going to be really good. Like, I would like the Ravens to get him possibly third, maybe, because I want the Ravens to go first offensive tackle, second wide receiver, third cornerback. That's how I want. Now, this is just from the uh, combine, just a little workout he did. Uh, where are we at? Right here. Just a little workout he did. Oh, let me turn, them, turn it down. The, the way he ran this workout is very smooth. That was very smooth. Hop, he got hit, catch the ball at high pitch. Right there. Good. Very smooth. He was smooth with it. Like, I like that. I I I wouldn't mind the Ravens getting him. I know some people was like, man, he ran a 4-6. He ran a 4-6. Bro, that is not bad. That is not Bad at all. Because I believe he can do some things. I believe he can do some things. Now, the next one is also a defensive back from Michigan. And we already know Hall of Love is Michigan. Um, his brother, head coach of the Chargers. Obviously going to know about the kid. But he ran a 4-4. Y'all know I just got through talking about the speed, which it really doesn't matter. But this one right here, it matters because he's a slot corner, in my opinion. He's 5'9", so that's a slot to me. But I looked at a couple of his highlights. 
I really don't have nothing, anything to show on this one. They got one that's showing like on the Michigan Insider. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. Right, not this play right there. Hey, that's that's just a couple of his highlights. Today I was doing the music. Like, God dog it. Like, he he jumped that route obviously, but like that, that's a good one. You know what I'm saying? That's a good one. Like this one right here. They talking about it. Let's go. Shout out to them um, anyway. But right there, boop, good tackle. He almost got loose, but great tackle. Like, solid. That's solid to me. That's another third rounder for me. In my opinion, I know man first, let's second. Hey, bro, this is just my opinion. And that is nothing but a third rounder to me. And that's Mike Sh Sansunashi. I, I, oh, I, I know I massacred that name. I know I did. But the next one, this is offensive tackle. No highlights. Um, but what he said, let me see if I can turn this on so y'all can hear what he said. Kansas Dominic Pooney says most teams see him as a guard slash center. But a few still believe he can be a left tackle at the next level. Y'all know we need that. And also, you know how the Ravens love their Swiss Army knife, as they call it. If you're going to be on the offensive line and play multiple positions, that moves you up the draft board. Let's hear what he's Nine seconds, let's hear what he says. And if, someone, if something's in a pitch, I can go play center, too, or guard. So that's a big plus for me. Dominic, if you never get Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That right there. If someone's in a pinch, I can play center or guard. That right there, bro, is like, move him up the board. Move him up the board. That's all you got to do. That right there, I like that. I couldn't find no highlights of him playing. I didn't look it up on YouTube. I'm going to look it up a little later. But, hey, if y'all want to get it up too, look it up. But I like that one. I like that one, Brandon. I like that one. This one also. Love it. Let me, matter of fact, let me put the video on this one. You know, just go show the world what yeah. I, I can do. Right you know, here. Cooper BB. Um, you know, people don't quite give me the credit for my athletic ability. Um, so that's something, you know, I'm excited to display here. Um, you know, I, don't, I think the fact that I play guard, I don't think I move very well. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm willing to, you know, just go show the world what I can do. But, you know, it's definitely part of it. Um, you know, being able to be quick, be fast, have that good feet movement is definitely something that I've been continuing to work on. I love it. I, I'm liking these. I, I know they say they're deep too. Let me. I know they say they're deep in the draft. I'm loving it. Like that's. Uh, I, I'm loving like all of these picks. Brandon, you did some good homework, fam. I, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm, I'm liking that. So, that's the people I checked out so far. I still got a lot, because Brandon, you, you loaded me up, fam. I have some more people as well to check out. But, to be honest with y'all, I, I liked everything I saw. Um, Brandon, I liked your the people. Some of the people you already did, like I said earlier, I already checked some of them out. Spoke about them in other videos. But, Knowing the fact that there are so many deep offensive linemen, hopefully Eric DeCosta loads up on that. If they trade out of the first, which I highly believe it might happen, as long as you get a high second, I will be fine with that. If that was to happen, if a really good offensive tackle, I know like Joe Oat, I know he's not going to be there. Now, that's my that's my guy. I know he's not going to be there, but you know it is what it is. We're gonna see what happens. The like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe and God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you meant real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. The knob on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. The trunk rattle. rattle. No. Knob on 11, baby, turned up. Be not, let it hit you with the